Thank you, Brad. It is indeed an honor and a pleasure to be here. Um, you made me harken back a second to my interview some years ago when I interviewed for this job. And uh, I was on campus and had seven hours of interviews, as Dr. Capaluto, I'm sure, can attest. And uh, uh, when I went in to meet with the faculty, my host for the day said, you know, this will be your toughest group. I said, well, why is that? He said, well, the ones who will show up are the ones who don't want you. I said, well, that's, that's, that's comforting. And I said, well, and, and why is that? He said, well, the uh, one, you're an engineer, and engineers are just too narrow to be presidents of universities. And I think he believed that personally. And secondly, uh, uh, you've been tainted by business. And so, uh, so I go in, I give my five-minute pitch about why I should be president, and then I open it up for questions. And this lady stands up on the front row. She's about four feet two, and everybody gets really quiet because they knew who she was. And I know who she is now, and I'll tell you. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> uh, she, uh, she stuck the microphone about halfway down her throat, and she said, you, you scare me to death, talking about economic development and entrepreneurship. I said, I'm in the philosophy department, and you're going to ruin these children's minds. I said, well, you and I need to have a philosophical conversation about the future of Kentucky. If we don't change the economy in Kentucky, these, your department will not be very good. It may not even be here. And if we can't create jobs for the kids that we graduate, then we're not doing our whole job. And so uh, we went on from there. I got the job somehow. And, uh, and that's why this day feels so good to me uh, because of that. Mark, uh, members of the Temper Pity team, Governor, Mayor, uh, President Capilouto, uh, this is a team effort. It's really come together well, and many people have been thanked uh, and already been mentioned that have been involved in this process. You know, I had to defend for several years uh, why uh, Coldstream didn't get filled up during my tenure at UK. Uh, and I did it by saying that, you know, this isn't a real estate deal. Mark asked me why it has taken so long to fill this place up. As the mayor said, 20 years ago, we built that building on Coldstream, the first one. Uh, Several things happened. In 2001, the economy went rather south. Not many people were building companies. But the real key was that we wanted special kind of companies on this plot of land. This was not a real estate deal. We could have filled it up earlier. What we were looking for in the original vision of Coldstream was to use this 700 acres for professors who start their own companies, for companies that license technology from the University of Kentucky, for people who have relationships, like Brad mentioned, with our MBA program, with our student program, with our research programs, we wanted it to be research and innovation based. And I can't think of a more innovative company, both in its business practices and its technology, than Tempur-Pedic. And finally, we wanted corporate headquarters here. Kentucky has a dearth of corporate headquarters. And if we had missed this opportunity to convince this company to stay in this state on this piece of property, we would have been missing it. Another reason that uh, Coldstream was founded was because I was trying to recruit Hughes Aircraft to come to Kentucky, and there was no zoning in Lexington where they would build a building like that 165,000 square foot research facility down there, because they'd build a nice building and then next door to them could be you know, a, a metal building. That's the way zoning was. This is a new zone for Lexington that was formed 20 years ago for the purpose of being able to attract buildings like the one you're going to see. And so I'm extremely pleased with this uh, decision that you've made and want to thank everybody. The partnership and teamwork that's been mentioned before, the Bluegrass Business Partnership was really a vision that Dick first helped us put together where we wanted Commerce Lexington, the City of Lexington, the University in one space where when people like Tempur-Pedic wanted to have a meeting, they didn't have to go three places. They went to one place and they were able to pull that off. And I want to thank all those folks for their help too.